Hello, <clears throat> my name is Angela Alec and I'm an artist and giant flower maker. Today I want to show you how to make a uh, rose petal out of foam. And um, so I will turn on my camera to a table so you can watch my work process. And if you have more questions, just feel free to write them in the comments. I will try to respond as soon as I can. And um, um, I will do definitely, I always planning to make a, like a whole process, but it's a, so it's, it's going to be so long video. So I decide to kind of divide them by the uh, process, how to kind of, okay, this is a uh, foam sheet from Michael's. Um, it's 12 to 18. So what I'm, what I do is I basically I need a pedal that it will be 9 to 12 and um, it's just right for me so I just divide it in two like this you know I don't do really um, sometimes I do um, I make a, you know like a sketches but in this time I'm not going to do anything because it's very simple and uh, so I just divide it in two see when I I didn't show you but anyway uh, when I flip it like this I can see a line like you know like in the paper so I cut it just by this line okay so I have two and now I'm going to cut a petal so right here I have a little mark out of there was a you know like a store stamp so that's why I'm I will put it on a down side so that my beautiful part will be on top so I divide it in two again. Now, so I'm going to cut right here, one side, and right here a little bigger. Here you go. So right now, oops, okay, I was trying to do it too fast. Right now, I have like a half petal. I think my camera is not standing pretty good way okay hold on here you go so now I have like a half pedal and you open it and voila okay let me do one more so this one is good all the way very nice foam sheet again into cutting a one side Okay, and here a little bigger. Okay, half petal. Ta da! -dum. Okay, so this is how I cut petals, and I cut them the size I want, the size sizes I need. So right now I'm making flowers like 15 and then 18 inch. This will be for 18 inch, inch flower, so because it's a nine and nine, okay, so it's 18 inch, but also I have a center, right? I have a center, and it's uh, but you need to remember that flowers are um, kind of they are cur curvy, so this kind of um, this curve size is eats the size of a flower remember always remember that this is what won't be yeah right right now it's 18 inch even with the center it seems like it's going to be like 22 or 21 inch but no uh because of a curve curves it's actually it's like almost like four inches uh out of a size so always remember that. So if you want like a flower smaller or bigger, so it's always you should have four inch more when you um, like at least four inch bigger than your uh, final product. Okay. Already, this is how I cut petals. So ne next step will be how I form them and make them look like a petal. Okay, to create a, um, to make a 
rose petal you need something round so i use like uh, from uh, home depot i bought this bulb bulb for saving so i use it as um my um tool so you can use anything round that's thin but this is pretty much works for me okay but this is breakable so be careful so and of course we need a heat gun this is my old heat gun also i bought from home depot i like it it's uh, it's very simple it has only two um, stages like a high and middle but it pretty much worked for me i don't need anything else and of course glue gun oh my poor glue gun yeah worked a lot and everything should be on you know i turn it on but for some reason it doesn't seem like it's working Hmm. Okay. Hopefully it would. Still cold. Still cold. But I have time to let it warm warm up. Okay. Now it's working. Looks like I didn't stick well to um plug. Alrighty. So let's start it. I'm going to turn on my heat gun, and it will be loud. But um, I'm not going to talk. So let's do it. So right now I'm heating a foam, a foam pedal, but you need to be very, very careful. Make sure you're not burning it, you know, because foam can burn very easily, you know, and then it will be trash. So I'm warming up all the way to make sure it's um, getting warm, but not melt it completely you know it still has a and not changing a color it takes a little bit i do it on a middle middle heat not in a high because on a high it will be burned very fast so <clears throat> you will start seeing that it's getting more warm and pretty much flexible but you need to make sure you warm it up very well okay so now i am stretching it on the bowl to give it a curve to give it a curve and maybe this way never stretch foam if it's not warm it up well because you will simply break it you will tear it down so make sure it's warm enough and it's stretching if it's not stretching that means you need to warm up a little more okay. and since it's a rose petal i want to warm up right here a little more and just stretch middle a little more see right now it's warm and it stretches pretty well okay so that's what we got it's already looked like a petal right so probably need to do something like a little upper down in this <clears throat> still struggling to put my camera the right direction so that's what we have right now, okay? But this is not it. So I'm warming up the very end and I'm going to do, I'm going to stretch this part to make a little, a little, some sort of pick right here. And then I'm stretching, yeah, but I don't want, I want to pick only right here, but not all the way. Now I'm warming up one side, one side, and holding it. Always be careful because you can very easily burn your hands 
with the heat gun. It's pretty hot, you know, the air coming up, out of it, it's pretty hot. I think it's good enough. And you firm it until you like. <clears throat> you can warm it and keep firming it, firming it until you until you like the shape. Right now, I kind of I'm okay with the shape I made. Okay, and um, <clears throat> let's do another one. Same thing, warming up very carefully, not coming too close. Not going too far. Okay. When you do often, you will see. Um, you will see when uh, foam is ready. It's it's not like changing color, but you will feel it with your hands, and you will see that it ready to start firming if not just try to stretch it if it's not stretching well that means we need to warm it up some more but again be careful don't, don't burn your foam because foam is pretty expensive material and don't burn your hands okay Stretch it a little bit this way. When I do stretching, it's not like I am really, really stretching it. I do, but I'm very gentle. I'm being very gentle. Okay. It's already look like a petal. See? You can leave it as is, but I like to finish. I like to finish and make it more beautiful. So I do, I stretch a little bit middle and then I curve the sides. I'm pretty happy with the shape with the shape of petal but this is not the, this is not it for for each rose to complete rose you might need three sizes bigger middle and a smaller one all together it's about 35 40 petals but I usually do um, when I like how it happened, but it's about 35, 40 something petals to complete, to make a complete rose. Depends on the size, of course. The bigger size, the bigger petals, then bigger layers you need. Because the rose, it's a layers, layers, and layers, okay? So, but this is not the final, the final part. So now what I'm doing, I am kind of putting it into so I don't like to measure I usually do like you know and I curve two sides like this see how smaller petal beca becoming it's already kind of way smaller than it was when it was raw right yeah because of the curves because of this side that that's actually become a size of petal and it right now it's about like two inches smaller than at the beginning okay so I did this sort of you know curve to make
pedal even more curvy. So this size will be glued to a um, center of a flower. And that's prob that's the side when it will be like outside. Then how it will look. Okay. So all I need to do is just put a little drops of a uh, hot glue and wait when it stick. This is a little bit <clears throat> boring part, but you need to press it and wait when uh, glue will cool down and foam will uh, stick very well. If you open it earlier, then glue is completely cooled down, it will open up. And so it's not a big deal, but you would need to redo it. And too much glue also not good because it will um, it will make look your work messy. So a little more. I see that the glue is still not really cooled down. So let me show you. See, it's still stretching. So that means. A few more minutes. Oh, making making flowers, you need to really like what you do and be very patient because it's a very time consuming. And also, you know, sitting for a long time, <laughs> if you possible to do that, it's hard, you know, at least for me, I like to I like what I'm doing, but you know, I like to move, you know, so that's why sometimes I'm just standing out and do a little exercise or just walk around or do something else because, uh, you know, I do so many flowers. I make so many flowers and um, I need to kind of, if I, sometimes when I have a big order, I sit for a long time, which is not good. So that's why even if you cannot <clears throat> um, stop and do something else, um, at least I'm trying to stand up and stretch, you know, stuff like that. If you are a maker, crafter, you know, it's a lot of sitting and uh, working with hands. <laughs> but... Well, you know, sometimes when people asking, oh, why do I choose like art? I said like, no, I didn't choose it. Art chose me. So, <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Okay. So let me just move camera a little bit up so I can tell you bye-bye. Okay. Now I cannot do it. Here you go. There you go. Oh, I see me now. Okay, that's the petals. That's the petals. They look pretty nice. And let me show you here. I already started to make a rose. See, it's um, it's a middle of a rose. And, uh, you know, suddenly I decided, like, hey, I need to make a video to show how it goes. See, that would be another petal. And there would be another petal and so on and on until it became a large beautiful until it all became a large and beautiful rose here you go it's not finished <laughs> okay but I will definitely um, um, show the final product and um, if you have a questions as I said um, try down on um, um below my video and uh, if you like it please like it if you want to see more of my videos subscribe to my channel and um, that's it for today okay you have a great day and enjoy your crafting process and um, just be well okay thank you bye bye